Hi everyone, my name's Freely and today I'm going to show you how much fruit I eat in a day. When I get up, I drink one and a half to two litres of water every day and then generally I'll do some exercise like a jog and come back and have more water. And the first meal of the day at the moment, because they're really in season in the tropics where I am at the moment, is dragon fruit. So let's check it out. Here we are, beautiful white dragon fruit. Well, they're white on the inside anyway. These ones are probably about half a kilo in weight because they've got so much water in them. So water rich. And they're really tasty too. They're not, not heaps, heaps sweet, but just sweet enough. There's about 800 calories, I'd say, in that meal. And a couple of hours later, or when I'm hungry, next meal would be pineapples. Yeah, I love pineapples. Check out the beautiful colouring on that, the orange and yellow. Oh, I think I'm in love. <laughs> but um, these are really beautiful, hey. They're so sweet and they're probably about 600 calories for the two of them. And moving on, after our pineapple we have, in the afternoon, bananas. And I'm in love with bananas as well. Who isn't, hey? They're so amazing, especially this variety. These are really sweet, so they're rather small, but very sweet. So that would make them about probably 80 calories or so each banana. And that's about a 900 calorie meal, I'd say. And moving on to dinner time, we have, drum roll, mango salad. Yeah. <laughs> but these mangoes obviously are green, so I wouldn't eat them like this. But it's the end of the season, so I didn't have much choice at the market so I grabbed some green ones a bit sad but there's always you know different fruits coming in the season so I'm happy capsicum I probably cut, cut half a capsicum up and blend it with the mango to make a, um, a sauce I probably put celery with that as well but I didn't get it out of the fridge sorry guys also zucchini which are very long calories I'd probably um, peel them over and over again with a peeler to make fettuccine strips like a pasta or spiralize them. Also I would put um, greens in my salad, other greens. So follow me outside. Let's go and check it out. Oh there's the outside bed. A little bit of a show and tell. Oh there's a barbecue. Let's get past that quickly. This is actually a place I'm house sitting. So this is sweet leaf. And this is how easy it is to pick, to harvest. Look at that. And seriously, it is such a sweet green. It is really, really beautiful. And this is a tree that I haven't really attacked yet, but we have one over here that I have been attacking. And as you can see, it's rather sparse <laughs> because, yeah, like I love my greens and these greens are like one of my favorites, so didn't have a chance against me. <laughs> Anyway, that's what I'm putting in my salad, and that salad would probably have about 650 calories or so in it. And that's probably the only meal that I would have that's not mono, as you can see, and mono is one fruit at a time. There we go. So, the reason I'd have mono meals is because it's easiest on digestion, and it allows energy, you know, for us to do all the other things we want to do in the day, you know, be an athlete or work or play or whatever you have to do. So ease on digestion is really important. Um, in the whole day, I think there's probably about 3,000 calories or so, like that's what I average. And it looks like a lot of food, but really there's not a lot of calories there. You know, you compare like a, a Big Mac meal or something, and I think that's, you know, somewhere close to 2,000 calories. So that sort of gives you an idea of, you know, how much like water content there is in fruit and veggies. It makes it look like a lot more. And, you know, like cooked food and gourmet raw food is really dehydrating. And, you know, the water has to come from your body to digest the food properly. So and even then it's not digested properly. But anyway, um, I just thought I'd show you a day in the life of my eating. So, all right, well, I'll 